Hi Capricorns, this is your August love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so you guys are the second person that got this card, like the first card out of the deck. I think um, Sagittarius may have gotten this card and it came out in the same position. So some of you may wanna go and watch that reading. So we have the world card here. We also have the tower. So some of you definitely are going through an ending. So let's see what comes out here. Spirit, what messages do you have? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. So you're slowly but surely moving away from a situation. I feel like you don't have a choice. With the tower coming out in the world, something ended for you, but it was meant to happen. I feel like something came crashing down out of the blue, unexpected. You didn't see this coming. Um, and now you're trying to figure out how to deal with it. If this is not you feeling this way, Capricorn, this could be a person feeling this way about you. You may have walked away from them. Could be a Scorpio or another Earth sign. Whatever happened here with the Five of Cups, I feel like you weren't ready for this situation to end. You felt like you were going to continue to have a connection with this person and someone, I feel like they ghosted you. They may have walked away from the situation um, and stopped calling or texting or something here. Yep, could have been a Leo. We have the Sun card. I feel like some of you were dealing with a Leo and this person walked away. But whenever the world and the tower, two major arcanas, come out together, I feel like this person did you a favor. Because they weren't serious about the situation, okay? They did you a favor. So don't sweat it. I know it sounds easier said than done, but try not to sweat it, okay? Try not to worry about it. Because the universe is saying um, someone else better is coming in. I feel like you guys were trying to possibly make a decision between this Leo and someone else. For those of you who were dealing with the Leo, it could have been another sign for some of you. It could have been a water sign, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio, or another Earth sign. But the Leo came out here, Major Arcana. So I know for a fact that some of you are dealing with the Leo. Now, um, I feel like you're making room for someone else to come in, but you just don't see it yet because you have the Six of Wands here, okay? Which is success and victory. So it's like someone leaves, a situation ends, but something else comes in for you is what I'm seeing here. So let's see where this goes. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What do they need to know? Yep, three of pentacles. Something else is going to work out for you. You just, you just don't see it yet. So the universe is saying, focus on yourself. Maybe this is what you're doing also with this three of pentacles. Um, you may have some sort of project that you're working on that you've thrown yourself into because you don't want to face or deal with the reality that things is over between you and this person. Um, maybe you're just trying to get them off of your mind because we do have the five of cups here which is regret and sadness devastation i feel like you're regretting giving this person your time your effort and your energy any of your emotions like whatever you gave this person you wish you could snatch it all back okay right before i started talking yeah we have the three of wands i feel like you waited for someone and you may still have a space in your heart for this person but um, I feel like the universe is pushing this person out of your life for a reason. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Yeah, because we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here with this Three of Wands. Yeah, so something else is going to be coming in for you. I see you uh, manifesting with the Magician card here. So uh, for some of you, it could be a Gemini. Okay. But with the Magician... I feel like the universe has a plan for you and they're saying trust it don't go against the grain don't try to fight this just allow things to take place uh, naturally and don't try to push for this person to come back in because some of you may want this person to come back in and um, the universe is saying you're, you're gonna be fine you're gonna be okay without them yeah look at that the lover some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini or someone else is coming in for you this could you may have thought this person was your twin flame um or your soulmate because you couldn't move away from them or you couldn't stop thinking about this person you wanted something to work with them really bad but someone needed to make a decision about their love life and it's like it was hard for them to choose also i'm picking up the energy here i don't see the two of pentacles but 
I'm feeling like you had a choice between two people, Capricorn. Possibly a Leo and a Gemini for some of you. And this person walking away calls you to choose another person. So we have the lovers and we have the sun, Major Arcana, right in between the three of wands. So I feel like for some of you, you were like, okay, if one doesn't work out, the other one will or something to that. Like something, um, let's see. And if this is not you feeling this way, remember to flip and reverse the roles as need be. This could be your person feeling this way about you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What I'm hearing um, Spirit and the universe say is that they're taking care of this. So whatever happened was meant to happen and it was beyond your control. We have the Two of Swords here. So you're wondering um, you know, if you're going to be able to move on and be okay with the Two of Swords. Also, I feel like you had a choice between two people. Yeah, Queen of Swords is in reverse here. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that you were dealing with that walked away. Or is just uh, turning their back on this situation. It's being very cold and very distant. We have the High Priestess here. So this person had a lot of secrets. There was a lot of things that they were keeping from you that they weren't telling you. What messages do you have for Capricorns? Oh, okay, so that wanted to pop out of the deck. Yeah, the King of Wands. So for some of you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you were dealing with, and this person may have walked away. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Capricorns? I feel like you guys are throwing yourself into your work. We have the Empress, the Hangman, and the Page of Cups. Um... With this Empress energy, someone may come back and say that they're pregnant or maybe someone was pregnant or you thought they were. And so you were offering love to this person with the Page of Cups. Okay, I'm getting two storylines here with the Hangman in the middle of the Empress and the Page of Cups. For some of you, you may have thought this person was pregnant. They could have told you they were pregnant or maybe they're hiding a pregnancy from you with this Empress. Um, and also... You're cultivating something. You're birthing, birthing something here. Um, I feel like you may be keeping it a secret. And you feel like you're stuck. And you're not able to see where things are headed just yet. With the Empress card here. But the universe is telling you that move on. Work on yourself. Like pull back your energy. Get yourself together. And then you'll be able to um, like find love again with this Page of Cups. But I feel like it's going to be offered to you. Instead of you, like, trying to offer it to someone else. Alright, so let's see where this is going. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, and this person may come back in offering you love. Somebody's going to tell somebody they're pregnant, and I don't know if they're telling the truth. So keep that in mind. I don't know who this is for, of course. Okay, because I read for thousands of people. So, um... The Hangman, the Empress, and the Page of Cups here. I'm just picking up the energy that someone may come back in and may say that they're pregnant or they think they're pregnant. And this person may do this to try and keep you, especially if you stop talking to them. And you may start offering love to this person again with the Page of Cups. I feel like the universe is telling you don't do this, though. So what messages do you have for Capricorns? What messages do you have for Capricorns? I'm getting a weird storyline here. Knight of Wands. There's a fire sign that's coming back in. Could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. But this is Sagittarius energy. But someone is going to come rushing back in. Because I feel like you're serious this time. It's like you may have told this person before that you're walking away. Or you may have tried to walk away from this person before. And you weren't able to do it. And they keep pulling you back in. It's like you tell yourself, I'm not going to deal with them. But each and every time this person calls you or texts you or something, it's like you go right back to the energy. And then you're thinking to yourself, I know I told myself I'm not going to deal with this person again. But I can't help it. And I feel like you're truly trying to walk away this time. And this person is going to come back and going to tell you something about um, being pregnant. I don't know. Like I said, who this is for, but Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? Uh, we have the chariot. So yeah, you're moving forward. So maybe you could be dealing with the cancer. I feel like you know it's time to move out of this situation because you're not getting what you want. Yeah, we have the full card in reverse. I feel like you took a leap of faith. Uh, I couldn't even get it out. <laughs> I got 
got tongue tied. Capricorns, I feel like you took a leap of faith in the wrong direction. And now you're feeling it, you're realizing it, and you're like, you know what? I got to correct this. I can't keep letting this person pull me back in and then push me away. Because I feel like that's what someone's doing to you. It's like whenever they want to be bothered with you, they reach out to you, want to talk to you, show you effort and energy, and then they push you away again. And it's just like they keep doing it and they feel like you're going to keep going for it. So, Spirit, what messages do you have? Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Yeah, I just feel a lot of push and pull with someone. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, you're never going to be able to balance this situation out. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. If not, you're waiting to balance it out or work on something with this person. Maybe you felt like you could build with them or they were your person. I just feel a lot of lust and temptation, sexual addiction here with this person, with the devil. You still have some sort of bond with them, or you may be obsessed with this person, or this could just be your energy coming out here, Capricorn, where um, you may have felt like things were very toxic with this person. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Moon, and the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person, but they keep a lot of secrets from you. But they keep reaching out to you. They could be younger than you. This person doesn't really have a lot going for themselves. So I feel like they try to attach themselves to you. But I feel like you're trying to work hard to stay away from them. Or you're just trying to focus on something else other than them. Yeah, this person could be younger than you or they could text you a lot um, especially when you walk away or when they think they're losing you, they reach out to you, but they're still keeping secrets, but there's some sort of passion or passionate connection that you have with this person with the Ace of Wands. So here, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What messages do you have for Capricorn? I'm going to pull some message cards and see. I feel like some of you were ghosted by this person. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you still love them. You still love them or they still love you. King of Swords. But you're being distant. You're choosing to be distant and cold to this person. Because you know that they play games. And you're just like, I'm fed up. I'm tired. And I feel like this person keeps ghosting you. It's like you may talk to them on Monday and Tuesday. And then you won't talk to them on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's like they skip all these days and you're like, where the hell are you? Like, what are you doing? We have the Ace of Swords. And so I feel like you wait around for this person to contact you and then they never do. And so it gives you the clarity that you need um, about what's really going on here, which is uh, a lot of nothing because this person is not coming in being honest. They have someone else that they're dealing with and I feel like you know it, but they won't tell you. That's what the um, why the moon card is here. This is why they're always keeping secrets or they're trying to hide something from you. Uh, okay, yeah of pentacles so they're juggling you and another person they're just not telling you some of you could be dealing with another earth sign such as yourself virgo taurus or a capricorn i also see pisces here i saw pisces twice so some of you are definitely dealing with the pisces with the moon and the hangman all right so let's get some message cards and let's see what this person's issue and problem is and what it is that you possibly need to know to like give you the clarity to let this go and move on because I feel like that's what you need to do. But it's difficult. Because I feel like there is definitely a connection between you and this person. And you're not ready to let them go. But you feel like you just don't have a choice. Because you refuse to keep playing games with this person. So what does Capricorn need to know about this person? What does Capricorn need to know about this person? Why did they walk away? Alright, this card flew out of the deck. Unavailable. I know you're a catch and I love your company, but I just want to have fun and keep my options open. Yeah, some of you are dealing with someone that they don't want to settle down. They don't want to commit to anything. They just want to keep you as an option. I'm sorry, give me one second. Capricorn, this card fell on the floor. All right, so we have insecurity. I thought you were involved with someone else. I didn't want to compete for your love. So this could be you or your person feeling like this. What messages do you have for Capricorns? 
So we have unavailable. I know I had to make a decision, but I wasn't in a good place to do it at the time. I hope you can understand and forgive me. So this person may try to reach back out to you again. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What messages do you have for Capricorns? What is their person feeling and thinking? Immature. I did it to get your attention, but my plan backfired. Yeah, it did, because I feel like you're really walking away from this person this time. And I feel like when they try to text you or call you or reach out to you on social media or however you guys communicate with each other, I feel like you're going to ignore them or you're just going to give them the cold shoulder. It's like you're not going to have much conversation for this person. So what messages do you have for Capricorn? What is this person feeling or thinking? What does Capricorn need to know? Why does this person walk away? Fear. I couldn't find the right words to say to you. There was nothing I could say that you would want to hear. Yeah, this person's a coward. It's like they just keep walking away instead of just telling you they don't want anything serious. That they, you know, they just want to have you in their life, but they're not going to commit. Differences. I thought you were just playing mind games, so I didn't bother. So this person was so up in their head about playing games. So they thought you were also playing games as well. So they just walked away from this. But they think that they can come back here is what I'm seeing. We are just too different to make us work. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Okay, so instead of telling you again that they didn't want anything, they played games and then they walked away. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? unavailable i'm emotionally attached to someone else i didn't know how to tell you yeah this person was attached to someone else the whole time then we have you're someone really different from my usual type i find it hard to read you for some of you this person feels like you don't open up but i feel like the reason why you don't open up to them is because you can't trust them and that's something that they failed to realize that they broke your trust i feel like in the beginning you opened up to this person and then once you realize that we're playing games you snatched your emotions out of this situation or you tried to as best you could we have unavailable i was just looking for an easy hookup and i felt you wanted more than i could give yeah so this person was just playing games i feel like i lose all control when i'm around you we have fear and then we have um, fear again. My past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again. I feared you were too good to be true. So I feel like some of you were dealing with someone who's not used to be used to being treated nice. They're used to people like dogging them out or walking all over top of them. And so when they came into connect into the connection with you and you treated them right, they didn't know how to handle it. So they ran from it. And we have, I resort to disappearing acts in order to regain control of the situation. Yeah, this person's immature. Some of you guys are dealing with someone um, who's, they, like, this person could be younger than you. Let's get a couple more. Honestly, I forgot to respond. Nothing personal, but I feel you were a little more invested than me. Yeah, this person never wanted to put any real effort into this. And then we have immature. I was trying to impress my friends by showing them I didn't care. I didn't want to appear weak to them. And then we have deception. I lied to you so much trying to impress you. I realized it was easier to ghost you than to tell you the truth. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading Capricorn. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.